At the dawn of the new century, Pope John Paul II challenged the world's youth to be the saints of the new millennium. Pope Benedict followed with an invitation to join the mission of love. And Pope Francis now calls young people to stake their lives on noble ideals. Inspired by these calls to holiness, many young people have found themselves drawn to religious life, and religious communities are experiencing an increase in potential candidates. Yet with the average inquirer to religious life owing $28,000 in student loans, many religious communities whose members cannot assume this debt have found it necessary to turn promising candidates away until they are debt free. Before I became provincial in 2010, I was already working with vocation candidates by participating in discernment weekends. When I took office, I was delighted that we now had so many candidates for our religious life and priesthood. When a candidate joins us, we are already committed to expenses of $40,000 per year for formation, room and board, and tuition costs. Taking on educational debt was making it difficult to allow these candidates to enter. Many young people today are drawn to community life, like Catholic colleges, Newman centers, and postgraduate volunteer programs. These programs inspire some to a deeper call to community and religious life. They leave these programs burning with zeal for their vocation, but burdened with debt. As a freshman in college in New Orleans, I would entertain the sisters in the infirmary. So I would play my trumpet for them, I would have some form of physical activity with the sisters. And then afterwards, I would join the sisters for prayers and dinner. And so began my interaction with the Dominican sisters. And I began to see religious women as role models, as an inspiration. I saw women who were incredibly talented, who were very gifted, educated, educated. And they decided to give their skills their talent, their knowledge for the service of God. That was when the seed was planted in my life and I saw myself following in their footsteps. Our 2012 study confirmed that over two thirds of responding religious institutes turned away at least one person because of student loans and a third of formal applicants quit because of educational debt. And the church is in need of more young religious. This is tragic. So with the generous support of the Conrad and Hilton Foundation and additional funding from the GHR Foundation, the National Religious Vocation Conference established the National Fund for Catholic Religious Vocations. The aim of the National Fund for Catholic Religious Vocations is to eradicate the obstacle of educational debt. Ultimately, we will need $100 million to achieve this ambitious goal. What is a serious obstacle for religious communities can be removed today with your commitment. Half a million dollars endows one vocation to the religious life in perpetuity. A gift of $1 million would allow us to endow two vocations in perpetuity. We're so grateful for all of those who have supported this important work. We especially thank Cardinal Sean O'Malley, Archbishop of Boston, who is our honorary chair, and the Conrad Hilton Foundation, who has made this fund possible. God works through different individuals, different organizations, and we're very blessed. We are liberated to continue in our formation so that we can fully set the world on fire. We are hopeful with this fund. We are now on our way to resolving the obstacle of educational debt that is currently thwarting vocations. I'm glad that the NRVC has established this fund to assist us with this issue so that no candidate will be denied or delayed entrance because of educational debt. Please remember our candidates in your prayers as we continue to grow this fund to solve this problem permanently for our church. God bless you. Thank you, and God bless you for your support, for your contribution to me and to other religious in our pursuit of our vocation 
as we're here and discern God's call to serve our world. You have made this possible. Thank you, and know that you are in our prayers. Prayers are just the first of many benefits you, the Church, and the world will receive by enabling the essential work of religious communities to continue with the energy and hope a new generation brings. We've made such a great start, but there are many more that need your help. Every moment we delay, we lose amazing people who want to stake their lives on noble ideals and pursue their dreams of dedicating themselves to God in the service of others. Please call Mark Teresi today at 773-595-4028 to learn how you can help or go to nfcrv.org for more information.